Kentucky Education Association groups in Floyd County joined Monday at the Floyd County Board of Education building to rally for a raise. KEA President Greta Gilbert was present at the rally. She explains why they're fighting for higher wages. With inflation being what it is, it's very hard to make it on um, teacher and classified pay. So that is the main purpose of us having this rally today. Uh, in a few weeks ago, when the legislature approved the budget, their version of the budget did not include raises for school employees, and um, they left it up to the local school districts. So we're here to advocate for our raises. With a thousand employees at Floyd County, Gilbert says the last raise they received was 3% in July. However, with COVID-19 and worker shortages, she says they've had to do more. You know, due to COVID, we've just had a really hard time getting subs in different positions. We've had a hard time finding people for positions. We have vacant positions. And um, our employees are having to do more because if we can't find subs or people to fill in those positions, we'll have to split classes, combine classes together. Uh, bus drivers are having to do extra runs. So it's just a lot more work on everybody because of the situation right now. In 2021, the Floyd County School District received more than $57 million from the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund. Gilbert says those funds are restricted. Um, ESSER money is money from the federal government to help relieve uh, impact on schools. Um, due to the pandemic. So some, some of that money has to be spent on learning loss. And so they've used money for summer school, ESS, tutors. Um, they've also used it to improve HVAC systems and roofing because it affects the health and safety. So there's certain things you can spend it on. Uh, it is somewhat restricted and it's managed by the Kentucky Department of Education who has to manage it for the United States Department of Education. We are Pikeville Medical Center and we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here, all who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. After work, teachers and staff spoke about why they believe they've earned a raise. Third generation teacher Jordan Pack says he's making less than his teachers 14 years ago. Um, it's been 14 years since our state has mandated a meaningful pay increase for public school teachers. Um, and when you adjust for inflation, the wages in Floyd County have actually decreased over $10,000 over the past 14 years. So um, I'm making less as a teacher when you adjust for inflation now than um, my teachers made when I was in fifth grade at that same school. Um, and I, I've been talking to other educators in our county and the number of teachers that are working second and third jobs is just staggering. I mean, the, the feedback that I've gotten from, from talking to them is, is really heartbreaking. So um, our teachers just deserve better um, and our state has failed us, so now we've got to turn to our county to help us out. After Floyd County's board meeting, Superintendent Anna Shepard spoke with Mountaintop. She says they will need to wait till the end of the physical year to evaluate options. So I think, you know, I, I wasn't surprised that they're asking for a raise. I mean, typically annually, uh, we do have employees asking for a raise and we appreciate everything they said, everything they shared. And I think you heard here this evening that when we close this physical year, which has been a year like no other the last few years, when we close this physical year, we'll have a better idea. Now that will be, you know, our physical year uh, closes June 30th. So once that happens, we'll have a better idea of where we are financially to be able to look to see what can we do for employees. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.